How effective is Jergens Natural Glow Tanning Cream? Hello, this is Kim Townsell. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share this video if appropriate. This video will show you my experiment with the Jergens Natural Glow Tanning Cream when I put it on only one leg for three days in a row. Let's get started and see what this product is all about and if it's really worth the money. I'm a big fan of fake tanners or tanner creams or tanner sprays as some people call them. This video will review the Jergens Natural Glow. I purchased it at Walmart in March of 2018. The cost was $8.64 but it had a dollar coupon attached to it which made the final product $7.64. This is actually a tube from last summer that I used and still had a little bit of product left over. And I'm just going to use it to maximize showing you the labels. But this shows you a starting point and then after several days and after one week that it gives you a color that's gradual and flawless and it doesn't really have the bad smell that some um, artificial tanners have. This one feels good on the skin. It says to apply to as your overall body lotion. Now you don't have to put it on places where you don't need to tan but if you do then do that. What I do it says use sparingly on elbows, knees, and ankles. What I do is put a little bit of lotion just a little bit of lotion on my elbows, knees, and ankles or any places that are going to be um, a little bit drier because drier skin is going to soak up the tanning solution and give you an odd color most likely. I have found that scrubbing down in the shower, exfoliating, and putting a little bit a little light coat, I can talk, a light coat of lotion before putting the tanner on there prevents that weird coloration. Of course you want to keep it out of your eyes and what I found also is this, after you put it on there, it's going to take, this is going to take a little bit longer to dry than a spray on. So you probably are going to have to run around, if you put it all over, you're going to have to run around or walk around the house naked for about 20 minutes and don't put any clothes on. If you put clothes on, even a robe, it's going to rub the product off and you're not going to have as dark of a tan there. If you put socks on your feet, it's going to take the solution off and you're going to have um, you know what they used to call tennis tan lines so just be aware be aware of that this does leave my skin feeling pretty smooth I have to put lotion on at least once a day and this is supposed to be a firmer daily, daily moisturizer so I, I've got older skin and I don't know about reducing the appearance of cellulite or cellulite whichever way you want to say it but whatever they were the same price so I got this type because it's probably gonna have something in it that older skin needs I got the darker one for medium to tan because it's going to be a little bit stronger. If you are a really light skinned person, really, really pale, or do not want to have a darker tan, you need to go to the um, fair to medium instead of going to the medium to tan. If you want to look like you've just come back on from vacation after a weekend, then you definitely want to go to the medium tan. Or if you're preparing for a vacation, go ahead and go for the medium to tan if you're going to be wearing skimpy clothes, bathing suits, things like that. I've used the Jurgens Natural Glow Firming Medium to Tan before, obviously, but I have not done the experiment with my legs to show the difference. So that's what this video is going to be about. Because this one actually has to be put on by hand and not a spray, I use plastic gloves to do that. And once I have a pair of plastic gloves dedicated to that, I just use a hairband to secure them on top of the package so that they don't touch anything else and I know where they are because they're easy to reuse. There's not going to be a problem with that putting three to five applications on. Those are the types of gloves that I use. I think they're just regular food handler gloves that I probably got at Walmart or if you can't find them there you can go to a Sally's or a beauty supply store and they're going to have um, gloves there that people use for hair care. Let's get started on the experiment. This is what my legs look like before applying any of the Jergens Natural Glow Tanner. They're pretty white. I haven't been in the tanning bed in a long time. I'm supposed to stay out of it. And I haven't used any tanning cream or anything all winter. So they are pretty white. Let's put some of this on. I haven't put lotion on either leg yet, but I did put a little bit of lotion on my knees and on my heels. And now I'm going to put um, the tanner on for the first time 
and I'm only going to put it on my right leg. So I'm just going to show you how I put the tanner on and how easy it is to apply. <clears throat> This is what it looks like. It's pretty thick. It does not have a strong odor. And I just rub some on my hands. And I have on old shorts, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. I should have pulled it up before putting tanner on there, but these are shorts I don't really care if the tanner gets on. <clears throat> and once I kind of rubbed all that in, I just go over my knees and then down, down to my feet and just do it like that. And do the same way on the sides because I do not want to rub this into my heels because I'll have orange heels. And that's a no. That's a hard pass. So that's how much product it took for, for one leg. It's easy. It's simple to do. So now I'm going to walk around, do some chores, and just let this dry. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm not going to put any... I'm not going to sit on anything. I'm not going to put any socks or anything like that on there. I'm going to take these off and put them on my container, as I showed you. And this way, none of the product gets on my fingernails or my cuticles, or anything like that. If you want to try to mix that up, you can, but I don't. Because I know that the product's going to be on the outside. So now it's ready for tomorrow. And this was the first application, so we'll check back tomorrow to see what they look like, and then apply another round. Thanks for watching. If you've seen enough of this video and want to check out the L'Oreal spray, then check and see if there's a place for you to go do that or come back and check at the end of the uh, video or look in the text below somewhere. I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes and check and see if this product is indeed dried in 20 minutes and that way I can give you a better time frame about how long it's going to take to fully dry. We'll see in 20 minutes. 20 minutes is up. And it's mostly dry on my leg. I can touch it. It feels just a little, little tacky. I wouldn't put clothes or anything on at this point, but I can touch it okay. Here's what my legs look like after one full day. I had one application on the right leg, which is going to be the leg on the top. And you can see some difference on the photos. I just couldn't tell it when I was filming, as you'll see later. Application two. And it's just that easy. This is after one application. Remember the tanner is only on the right leg. I can't tell much difference, maybe a little bit. The left leg has regular bath and body lotion on it. And I just put the second application of the Jergens on the right leg. So probably tomorrow we'll see a big difference. This is day one after one application on the right leg only. This is day two. I've had two applications that have had uh, 24 hours to fully work on the top leg, which is the right leg, and I can see a difference. Even though the skin is not really dark, it's definitely a different color, which is a little, more, a little bit more pleasing to me, and that's what I'm going for. I'd like to put the third application on. Not that much. Same procedure. Starting to see some color. That simple. Now let's look at the results after three whole days of applications. I've had three days of letting uh, the tanner work on the top leg and I can definitely see an improved color on that leg. 
This is day three. I've had three applications. It's Sunday and I can see a big difference. We're about to dress to go out for Sunday brunch and I believe I'm going to have to wear pantyhose once this dries because there's some marked difference in the color of my legs. I just put an application of the, um, the actually the fourth application because I've had three days after three applications is what you're seeing and the fourth application has not had time to do anything yet. And on my left leg, I have this, which smells amazing. I'm down to the last bit of it. It smells so good. But yeah, after three applications, I can definitely see a difference. And I did work in the yard yesterday for about four and a half hours in shorts. So both legs had equal exposure. So if they both look a little bit darker than yesterday, that would be why. But I can see that the right leg definitely looks tanned and the left leg looks like a fish belly. So three days of this, I would be good to go. But I'm going to continue on with, I don't know, I don't know if I need to continue two more days. I think I need to start evening it up. What do you think? What should I do? Here's a before and after. The bottom is the end of the experiment and the top is what they look like when I started. Here is day one before any tanner is applied. This is after one application on the top leg. This is after two applications on the top leg. And this is after three applications on the top leg. I'm stopping the experiment after three days and I'm going to show you why. Today is Easter Sunday and there was such a difference in my legs that I had to end up wearing pantyhose when we went out for brunch. And I think you can even see the difference between the between my legs and the white pantyhose, you can tell which leg has a tanner on it, right? My mom could tell. So there was no way I was going to go out in public and have one white leg and one browner leg. I'm going to show you what it looks like with the pantyhose off and give you my conclusions about the three-day, not the five-day, experiment with the Jorgens tanner. This is without the pantyhose on. You can clearly see which leg has the tanner on it and which one doesn't. Let's get back just a little bit. It's pretty apparent and I'm just not really willing to make this leg any darker. You can see that there's quite a bit of difference there. So I'm going to put Tanner on this leg for the next three days and try to get evened up to that one. My conclusion after using the Jergens Natural Glow Medium to Tan Tanner after three days is that you will see a marked difference in the color of, the skin, of your skin. If I had applied it to both legs at the same time, I probably would have said, ah, it's not really making me tan. But obviously, putting uh, no Tanner on this leg and Tanner on this leg only three days in a row, one time, three days in a row, there is a difference. So if I really wanted to make it um, uh, have a darker tan in three days, I guess I could put it on twice a day, but I only put on what I showed you, the amount I put on, and I only did it three days in a row. So that's going to be enough color uh, for me for right now. So if you're willing to um, use like the gloves, because it's going to keep it from getting in your hands, like I said, to down in your cuticles, uh, and rub it in like that, it's going to go in your skin a lot smoother. It's not going to turn your palms orange because you're not rubbing, rubbing. When you pour some in your hands and rub it on your skin, everywhere you put it on your skin is on your hands. So it's on the palm of your hands more than any other place on your body. Using the, the plastic gloves is going to help prevent it from getting in the, in the crevices of your fingers and your cuticles and making hell those weird orange palms. So I really recommend that you do these. If you don't want to use the same pair of gloves like I did, just use them and then throw them away. They're super, super cheap, but it's really, really worth it. A really good cream um, tanning lotion to use. If you want a spray tan, I will link a video that I did, I think it was last year, with the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze, which is a much easier way to do that. They just didn't have it when I went this time, so I thought I would try this. But I highly recommend this product. It doesn't have a weird odor. It didn't leave a weird color on my skin. It didn't feel sticky after it dried. I would recommend that you not put your clothing on for, I would say, a good 30 minutes. 
Don't put your clothes on for 30 minutes after you put the lotion on there. Make sure you get, get it really, really dry. I usually did mine like after I took a shower and just kind of walked around and did some chores and things before I before I put my clothes on. But if you want to put it on at night, just make sure it gets really, really dry before you get into the sheets, especially if you have white sheets because it will discolor them. Mine are purple, so it's not really, not really an issue. But yeah, I give a thumbs up on this product. If you've used it or used something similar, um, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, share this video if you know someone who uh, needs a tan. And until next time, bye. Bye, y'all.